for the few problems. Number five. D. Ninety percent of the cars travel at least how fast? So that means it's that amount, that speed or more. So the ninety percent would be above. Therefore, you want to use below. So since this is at least this amount, then it would be the 65 miles per hour or more would be 90% of the cars. When you're plugging into the inverse, you want the percent below. And so you'd have to take 1 minus the 0.9 and use 0.1. So we find the inverse, put our answer here, equals type norm, and then they're giving us the percent, so we want the inverse one. You put your percent, in this case it's 0.1, so that's the percent below. And then comma, your mean, and standard deviation, which are up here, 78, hit 10, and hit enter. And so it's 65. Now, I don't know why it's giving me a negative. <laughs> it's 65.184. I don't know. I did something wrong. But it would be the positive end of it. And then the other ones. When we're talking about the middle 10% of college students, remember when we're plugging in the percent, we have to plug in the percent below. So, when you're finding the 10% below, this whole thing adds up to 1. So if 10% is here, there's 90% left to go between these two, because 100 minus 10 is 90%. Half of it goes on one side and half goes on the other. So we would divide that by 2. So this would be 45% and this would be 45. So to find the low, we would use 0.45. To find the high, it would be the 0.45 plus the 0.1, or 0.55, because you want the percent below. So we'll go to Excel, put our equals norm. And again, we're getting percents, so we'll hit inverse, double click on it. The first one was 0.45 to get the low value, comma, the mean, which is 25,200, comma, the standard deviation is 14,700, and hit enter. We've entered too many arguments. Oh, I put a comma on the... Twenty-three thousand three hundred fifty-three. To get the other one, you can go back in this one and change the forty-five to the fifty-five. We're using the point five five for the high value.
0.0047. The last one was the middle 40%. So it's the same idea as the 10%. Now 40% is the middle. 100 minus 40 is 60%. So the two ends add up to 60. And because it's uniform, we just divide this in half, they're both 30. To find the low value, then we're going from here over, so 0.3. The high value, 0 0.3 and 0 0.4 is 0.7 because you always want the percent below. So we'll use 0.3 for the low, 0.7 for the high. So simplify the function here. And we go uh, equals, norm. Again, we've got a percent, so it's the inverse one. Double click it. Put your probability, which was 0.3, comma, mean and standard deviation, 64, comma, 2.4, and then enter. There it is right there. For the other one, equals norm, double click on inverse. The probability was 0.7. 